Hey guys, Steve and Josh here with a new video for you this month. Um, hey Josh, why are we wearing pink today? Well, we are wearing pink because we are supporting women in manufacturing. And why on, a, why on Wednesday? On Wednesday? Well, on Wednesdays we wear pink. Yeah, exactly. Mean <laughs> girls, for those that don't know. All right, let's get uh, Well, yeah, well pretty much, yeah, women in manufacturing, it's really important to us. Um, Historically, there's been a lot of men in manufacturing and we're really trying to you know, promote supporting women getting into this industry and into this field. So that's the whole point of wearing pink and support for that. Yeah, let's um, get on with it. But yeah, but let's jump straight into this video. So we still get questioned quite a lot with what's the differences between PCR to virgin plastic. So for those that do not know, PCR stands for post-consumer uh, recycled plastic. Um, which essentially is using recycled plastics instead of virgin uh, into your packaging. Yeah, fair enough. Um, you might have heard other terms, RPET, which stands for recycled PET. Um, that's more specific into PET only, but that can still come under PCR because that's still post-consuming recycled plastic. So let's get stuck into it now. Yeah. Um, essentially, historically, you know, Australians use over 3.5 million tonnes of plastics every year. And at the moment, we're only recycling about 20%. So it has gotten better. Um, before that, we were at around 13%, slightly moved up to 20%. But that's still, you know, a large portion of plastics not getting recycled. Um, so you might have heard us harp on about APCO. Do you want to explain what APCO is? APCO Australian Packaging Covenant. Um, they're they're the ones that are um, liaising with government to set the standards for industry in terms of our recyclability of different products and improving recycling. Yeah, so there's 2025 targets. We've talked about it heaps. Uh, we can reference another video. Make sure you check that out. Um, essentially, it's a list of different targets that all brands and uh, manufacturers we've got to abide to in terms of recycling standards um, up to 2025. Um, standards we want to live by. We're actually pushing as hard as we can for the same standards. Yeah, well, it's one of our big focus here at World Trade, but also consumers are now really pushing for it with you know 86% of consumers requesting for recycled plastic in their packaging yeah um, but let's get let's further dive into what's the main differences between uh, PCR plastic compared to a virgin plastic um, let's start off first with your aesthetic differences yeah mainly here is the color I guess is the big thing color um, maybe a few little black dots on piece on the PCR style of product so you because you're recycling plastics potential is it may burn up a little bit quicker than virgin plastics but mainly color so color tends to be a little bit more straw color or tends to be a little bit more gray so if you're putting it at a clear you can see a more yellow or more gray if you're putting it in a white you'll get a little bit more tinge of yellow or a little bit more tinge of gray to a standard white whereas virgin you can control yeah that's exactly right um, and you will you will know notice it more in your clear and whites compared to you know your darker colors your blacks um, even in your even in your lighter pastel colors um, it is a little bit harder to achieve if you're going PCR getting the same batch consistency so keep that in mind but essentially I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell on the camera but here's a virgin PET jar here compared to a 50% PCR content added um, there's a slight variation so the there higher the percentage that. the more the variation will be all right next one next up is your feel and texture okay so there's not much difference especially with the pcr we use here at world trade in terms of the feel and texture we have got it really consistent now yeah the main one would be ocean waste i think where they reclaim something from say ocean waste which is like fishing net material yeah that would be the one you'd feel right yeah yeah that is correct but you know these days with the um, improvement with the um, processing and the recycled plastics compared to what they used to be fill and texture is pretty sp spot on for your PCR yeah. um, moving on to your quality and performance pretty much okay or well, there's a slight usually there can be a slight um, decrease in performance in terms of the speeds we can process it at um, there's also a slight difference in terms of the speed, the extra processing cost from the supplier side, which can force up the price a little bit. And I think we come to that in a second anyway. Yeah, but going on to the quality, so that's a big one you guys got to be careful of. There are tons of manufacturers out there using bad quality PCR. So at World Trade, we use food safe uh, post consumer plastic only. Um, so this really helps with the quality, makes it food safe as well. Um, so the consistency is always there. I always 
recommend if you're getting it from somewhere, ask, can you have a food safety certificate? That way you're covering yourself. Yeah, and that will, that will um, tick off your TGA requirements as well. Uh, maybe, it depends on, TGA is a bit of a funny one, a bit of a killer one, because some TGA requirements may say no recycled components. So definitely check that with your TGA listing people. Perfect, awesome. Next up is price, okay? So um, price is one that can throw some people off, um, but, at the end of the day, version plastic will still be cheaper, okay? Just because it's easier to um, process. process, exactly. Um, the demand for PCR is picking up now, and we are getting more um, manufacturers and recycling facilities that can supply your R PET or your reprocessed plastics. Yep. Um, but, you know, that will always change. Simple demand and supply. Therefore, at the moment, demand is higher for recycle than what's actually available, that's being processed and what's available. So, simple. But do keep in mind that you don't have to opt in for 100% PCR. You know, you can do different levels. At the moment, APCO is saying 50% 50, 50 PCR meets your requirements. It's less for depending what plastic you're using, but you can come in at 30%. You can come in at 50%. Whatever level you want to do, keep in mind you do not need to be 100% PCR. Yep. Sustainability. Sustainability. So that's the, that's the main reason we're doing this, okay? The main reason is, you know, to help. Brainer, right? Yeah, exactly. It's to help with your greenhouse gases. If you do opt in with, a, you know, 100% PCR packaging, you will be saving roughly about up to 50% on your greenhouse gas emissions. Yeah, it's huge. And not only that, you're using what normally would have ended up in waste, it's going back into the new container. Yeah. Um, that kind of wraps up the main reasons with our PCR compared to our version, but keep in mind we can here at World Trade put PCR content into our PET, which we refer to as RPET, into our HDPE, um, which is for our you know, bottles and tubes, as well as our polypropylene, which is more for your caps, closures, dispensers, pump sprays, that type of thing yeah, as well. Yeah, so that's it, right? That's the wrap. Let's, what is our conclusion today? Conclusion is... Hop on board the sustainability train. That's what we're all about here at Well Trade. We want to see you implementing some form of PCR content into your packaging. Um, hit those APCO requirements. It's the best what you can be doing for your brand and for sustainability-wise as well. Perfect. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video. See ya. Bye.